Another day in the AK. It feels so good to be back home. It really does. I mean, I know it's frigid. It's really, really cold, but there's something about being home in the comfort of like, you just know things, you know people, you know, that's what I'm feeling. Still have Christmas up. Yep, I'm gonna say I live in North Pole. I can leave it up longer. Is that a thing? No, definitely not a thing. It's called lazy. Not been able to get that down. Anyway, we are on our way to the good old Costco because we have no food here. We have our storage. So let me strike that, reverse it. We do have our food in our storage, but like our freezer is like almost completely bare. My babe went out. We cleaned that out. Kind of got, there's a lot of fun things. When you have a chest freezer, do you have a chest freezer? Let me know. Do you have one of those? Things get buried. Things that you did not realize that you've had for years. Corn dogs that have what? Hello? I don't know how that happens. So we need to restock, replenish that a little bit, stock up a little bit more on our meats and stuff. We, we, you know we have talked about this with you before. Um, in regards to living in Alaska, things are just a little bit different and you have to plan a little bit for contingency because the roads get shut down if we have bad weather and the trucks cannot make it up from the lower 48. You don't really get your shelves stocked. You don't get food necessarily. To plan for contingency because things can change like that. We all know weather, it can change. Uh, the economic climate, Canada's borders, <laughs> all the things. No stress, it's fine, we're fine, everyone is fine. We felt we, we need to go and we need to restock. We need to make sure that we're keeping everything really organized. Do that, we might grab a few more long-term food storage items. We're definitely gonna replenish our fridge, a lot of our fresh produce, things like that. Cause like we, we were quarantined here for a while after our trip and we just did click list, so I just kind of bought like the minimum of things because Costco is definitely like my, my bulk buy and I'm able to stock up a lot easier, a lot more frugal, cheaper, things like that. So that's what we're gonna go do. We're gonna head that way. We're gonna show you all the pricing items that we can get here at our local Fairbanks Costco, which is about 20 minutes away from where we live. So let's go do it. It's been a minute. This is gonna be a severe stock up, so be ready. Be ready, have your, have your thinking caps on. Oh gosh, am I old? It's like what my mom used to say. Get your thinking caps on guys. And we're going to see how much we spend. Let's do our math. <laughs> I'm getting old. Okay. Anyway, let's head on to Costco. Hey, you guys excited? Mommy and Daddy are gonna go to Costco today. Guess where we're gonna get to go? Grandma's house! And we have to see Grandma and Grandpa in a long time. And we also get to see Aunt Cheryl. It's been a really long time. Head into Grandma's. To come my way. All right, we'll be able to see you at Grandma and Grandpa's. Okay. Close. Oh. Oh, I haven't seen you in so much a long time. So long. Hi, yeah. Oh, since December. Oh. Hi, Grandma. Hello, little princess. Hey, Audrey, mm -hmm. what's going on here? 
That's because Nothing. That, that did not take very long. Well, Grandma said she bought some ice cream from the grandkids, so <laughs> what happens to Grandma stays at Grandma's. That's our saying. It spread out through all the grandkids, and it will spread through the generations to come. <laughs> to the old Costco. Brought my right hand man. Going in, <laughs> going in hot. Cause he just loves to go grocery shopping with me but it's gonna be kind of a bit and you know what? It's a date because we dropped the kids off at grandma's. So it's kind of like our mini date here. All right, let's go check out what Costco has. It's been a hot minute since we've been here. Let's go see what we can find. chicken. chicken. Making our way, making our way through the old Costco. No water with the Costco brand water and no chicken. So let me know, comments below, what is your stock looking like in your local Costco? Holy moly. Oh. What's up, happy people? <laughs> Thank you. We've been with you guys since like 5,000 subscribers. No way! Yeah. Yeah. Dude, you are a straight up family at this point. Yeah, yeah that's so awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Later. This was on like our Fairbanks Rear for Sale page, I think it was, or our Fairbanks Alaska page. And it's a Costco home wholesale, the secret behind Costco prices. So if it ends at a 99 cent, that's a full price, 97 cents. Store manager deals. These will not be around for long and can offer amazing discounts. 49 cents to 79 cents, like ending in. Manufacturer special offer, these prices usually apply to products which have are having a trial run and are usually priced cheaper than, the, than their real retail prices. Ends in zero, zero. I'll throw this up on the screen. If this ends in zero, zero, the manager wants these items off the shelf for good. That means that their prices down and nearly out of stock. And then with the asterisk, it's a discontinued item. How stinking cool is that? So I'll throw this up for you guys. Inside hacks of the old Costco wholesale. All right, let's continue on shopping.
mass kisses are not the same. They are not the same. <laughs> Things so far. Um, love it. Love it. Yes? Like, he's very, like, retired. Hello! Can I get a picture with you? Yeah. My friend is going to freak out. Oh, oh my goodness. Thank you for sending oh us the gosh. clothes out. Yeah, we appreciate oh, that. That was wonderful. It's a beach. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yeah. Oh, me too? Yeah, oh, okay. Something. All right, that yeah, works. I'm trying to find you guys. Yeah, yeah. like everywhere we go. Not in a stalker way. <laughs> no, that's awesome. I really want to meet him. Put like the, the gift thing underneath. And then we tagged you because we like, we were in the hotel, so we were like dropping off gifts for like random neighbors. Like in the hotel room for the act oh. of kindness. So, were you, were you just like the Hello, party? baby. Yeah. The Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. But, but I was like, oh my goodness, this person is in their hotel room going and giving different things. I thought yeah, that we was were well done. For Christmas, so that that's was what we did. awesome. Yeah. Good job. Very, very so cool. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Yeah. Happy people. Can you say hi, happy people? Hi, happy people. Hi, happy people. Hi, happy people. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. So cute. Oh, Thank you for saying hi. We yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Never fell tomorrow. Right, I think we are good to go. Excessive amount of cart full right there. Yep, we have an, we have, it's been a minute. I told you guys, already forewarned. So awesome meeting some of you guys in Costco. That totally blows my mind. So if you ever see us out in public, make sure you say hi because we absolutely love meeting you. So thank you guys for saying hi. We're gonna go check out. Haven't been to Costco in over a month, so. Make sure, make sure you guys tally. See if you can guess how much guess we how spent much. here. Guess how much we spent. What it means to grow. Hello. How's it going? Good, good. Alrighty, so we made it back home. Boom. Uh, fresh produce is kind of where we went. A lot of fresh foods. Um, our meats, you saw we, they didn't have chicken, which was really, really odd. There was like a few packages of tenderloins. So we ended up getting these um, boneless, skinless chicken thighs frozen. We're gonna try those out. Um, my babe was super excited for this guy. The mozzarella, parmesan, and fina cheese from Real Good, um, Real Good Foods. We'll see how that goes. It's like super low carb, which is cool. Get some almond milk for downstairs in our um, long-term food storage because it's great shelf life on that. So you guys saw too that they did not have um, any water, no Costco water. They had a few of the arrowheads, but they were the really, really big bottles. Interesting. Um, they're still limiting things, so they're still limiting bath tissue and the paper towels where it was only one per customer. They were also doing that with the paper plates as well, one per customer. Interesting, let me know in the comments below. Does that look similar to your local Costco? Crazy on how much it was actually out. So like I said earlier today, where living here, it kind of seemed like a truck didn't show up and that's why a lot of um, the goods were not available. Um, I did notice when I went around back kind of where they pull things for like villages and stuff, there were a few cases of water that were sitting back there that were pulled for them that were gonna go out on the airlines to go service local area or local villages. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, so we have a grand total, let me know. Drum roll please. Grand total for this pretty extensive haul. This is, this is bigger than what we would normally get on a normal Costco run. Oh, another thing they were super low on was eggs. They only had these type of eggs, which is the organic eggs. None of the other eggs were in stock. Babe, that's why we need to get chickens. 
why we need to get chickens. Chickens? Yeah, they had no eggs. What? That's gonna be my selling feature. That's why we need to get chickens. Because oh. they didn't have any eggs. Okay, easy See? now. <laughs> we'll barter. Can we barter? We're not bartering. I want to go get my own chickens. Anyway, total, grand total for this haul is $416.16. There's no tax um, shopping in Fairbanks. So good to know, good to know. So let me know, how would it compare to your local uh, Costco? I'd be curious to know. We always love we always love hearing about different areas of the country on what you guys have for pricing. So anyway, I think we're gonna call this one a night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you enjoy my Costco hauls, I know I don't do them super often, um, but it's a nice little thing to sprinkle, kind of break break up the vlogs. Alrighty, so we are gonna go pick up the kiddos. Let's actually send it off to a closeout. Take it away, kids. Thanks for watching.